Okay, so here's the final, you know, the, the holy grail, right? Uh, is that we pick a perfect angle so that we do a perfect upstream ferry. Uh, we we, we uh, counteract the current, okay? So uh, let's just start, you know, figuring out what we know. This is, I think, the best way to, to proceed at this point, right? So we've got the across direction. Uh, we've got downstream, right? We've got displacement, velocity, and time. Okay, and across is still 120 meters, right? And then here's the deal, right, is that we've got the current, and then we've got, we're going to have an upstream component of this. So let's draw this thing. It's going to be pointed upstream like this, right? And there's going to be this upstream component there. And 1.2 plus that component, if we head straight across, isn't our displacement here going to be zero? Right? So doesn't this have to add to zero? Right? We've got to add those together and get zero. So this means that this has to be upstream 1.2 meters per second. Remember, downstream is positive. So the river's current is positive, and then the, this component here is 1.2. So now we've got a triangle, and we know this side is 1.2 meters per second, so that it perfectly counteracts the current. This component is 1.2 upstream, the current is 1.2 downstream, and that's all you have to wrap your mind around. Now it's just simple trigonometry, okay? Now we can find the angle, we can find this side. Let's find this side first, right? The, Pyth the Pythagorean theorem will help us out, right? So we can say 3.5 squared is uh, the adjacent side squared, right? Plus uh, 1.2 squared, right? We can do that. Uh, square root of... 3.5 squared minus 1.2 squared is 3.28. This guy is 3.28785 meters per second. Is that right? That is right. Okay, I'm going to store that guy in my calculator. Okay, so that's the across velocity is 3.28785. Crazy number of secrets. I've really stored that in my calculator somewhere. So, and then that guy is that. And now we're all set. I think we can. We know that the um, we can find the time it takes to cross by going 120 divided by that answer. And I get 36.497. And and we can pull that across. It doesn't do anything because it, we know that the displacement downstream is zero. Right, so there's not really any point. But so now we know the time to cross is 36 seconds. Right, where does it land? Well, uh, straight across, right? Straight across. Okay, if the velocity is seen from above is just this. It just simply appears to move, pointed upstream, strangely, right? But it will just move, the, the motion of the boat is that it goes all the way to that side, right? Okay, um, and that's it. Um, let's figure out this angle, though, just for fun, right? It doesn't ask us to find that angle, but let's find it. The simplest way to do that, I mean, we could use any trig function since we know this side, but if you want to use this, this is the hypotenuse, and that's the opposite side. And since the sine of the angle is opposite over hypotenuse, then the angle is sine minus 1 of the opposite side over the hypotenuse, right? So that equals sine minus 1 of 1 1.2 divided by um, 3.5. Okay, so let's do that. Second sine, 1.2 divided by 3.5. And that's 20.05 degrees, so 20 decimal point degrees. Now, if you recall, when the boat headed straight across and the current was allowed to sweep it to the side, its velocity was 19 degrees downstream, and then this is 20 degrees upstream. So they're not the same. The inverse sine and the inverse tangent are not the same. They're very close. They're small angles like this, but they're not the same. Um, okay, so what we did then to figure out going straight across is we knew the downstream displacement was zero. So the current 
and the upstream component had to add to zero. So this had to be upstream 1.2, that was downstream 1.2. So now we know this side is 1.2, and then from there, Pythagorean theorem gives us this, and where's that? 